so today I want to show you how to create a VFX fireball and with explosion and landscape cracks. We must uh, import our video by clicking to new composition from footage and uh, going to select this footage. So this is the base sample. I need to track first, select the video and go to workspace, motion tracking, click on track camera. So this is the result of uh, camera track. And now, I need just two tracking finds. And this is the first find, right click, create a new solid. So create solid in camera and uh, select this point, right click, create just solid. So right click, create a new light, select the light type to point and the color must be white, intensity 100% and change the name, emitter for particular plugin. Click OK. Let's animate the light. Select this track solid one, press P and select this one, press P. I need to animate from second four, press P for the emitter light, select the first one, press Ctrl C copy, paste here. And now going to track solid second, select the position, press Ctrl plus C, copy. In one second, I want to animate my light. Stopwatch from second four. Stopwatch going to second five. Copy and paste here. Play now. Not bad. Now select the first keyframe, zoom out and move it up. Little bit, move far and here. So, play now, not bad. Right click, make easy ease for a smooth ending of the light. So, and now time to create the fire. Create a new composition and right here, fire set, preset size 400, 400 pixels. So change 0 0.5 seconds. Click OK and double click here. Let's go to find file. Plugins, uh, annual explosions. Let's see. Next. And next. A label is good. Select the label and drop to fire composition. Move it to center. So set from start from there. Press S to scale down the size. Set to center. So I think go to second three, press T for the best T, make zero. Go back to your final comp, press Ctrl plus K and right here, final, okay. So drop the fire composition to your final comp and create another new solid, write the name particular, enter and go to effects, we'll go to trap code, 
particular and wait for the result. So, there is our particular select and go to emitter, change to lights and next go to second five, stopwatch particles, press page down for one frame change to zero. So now change emitter size to zero, press tab zero, zero, zero and zero. Okay, change light intensity to none and go to go to particles and go to a sphere change to a sprite so now go to a sprite control select fire and change time sampling to start at birth stretch okay guys first turn off the particles I need more particle. Not too much, little bit down the size and change the size of the particles. Change to 16. Okay, and now go back to rotation. Make rotation between these particles make rotation so change blend mode to add let's select the screen okay and now go back to live second change to into two change to one okay Let's change again, add, lighting, the lighting is not bad, looks good, select the particles, press F4 and change to overlay, let's select again to normal and change life second 0 0.5 so 0 0.7 good let's render turn off the sound and trim your comb start from second 3 and end of second Sex and play again. Okay, guys. So select your particular and go to rendering motion blur. Turn on the motion blur. And next, let's import the other footage of explosion by going to project double click go to desktop and there we have explosion and their charge import select explosion move there so let's select this track solid copy the position and select Explosion footage, press F4, turn on the 3D switch. And next, go to Material Options, Exit Light, turn off. Turn off Exit Light. So press P, paste here, and move up. Press W for the rotate, rotate, 
press V for the move tool or selection set here press S to scale up the size and set there ok guys now I need to set this explosion when the fireball hit to the ground change the quality to quarter for fast working take a look wait a little bit go to backward press page down move one frame one by one frame one frame more so now set the explosion so play now let's set uh, their charge and drop the composition first go to option turn on the trading go to material option accept light turn off and close select position of the explosion clip press ctrl plus c copy and ctrl plus v paste here and move their charge set right there press w for the rotate rotate and moves head okay move behind of explosion set here select cut your layer like this and fit your composition screen render once again I think let's move the dirt charge behind of the fire behind of the fire set there play again let's uh, create the fire shades lights and shades create a new solid by pressing ctrl plus y and select the color and write the name shade okay turn off and create the lips there and create by pen tool select mask these places mask uh, these places turn on again and press shift all shift key with plus on keyboard press MMM select all three mouse make feather press T and select all close move shades top of the video press T little bit more and all shift with change press V select again select shades move and move here that will down make more feather let's animate from start 
change opacity zero and move forward, make brighter and brighter. So make darker and make off. Okay, guys, let's uh, import uh, ground cracks for better result. Move it down off the video. So press S, scale down the size, turn on the 3D and move there close open again go to material option accept lights turn off and close press s for the scale down the size move here so press f4 change the overlay so after change the overlay play now Let's render our final project. Press space. This is the final result of this project. And don't forget, by going to second five, the stopwatch particular particle seconds and move by page down in one frame change to zero and then you can test your final project like this thanks for watching have a good time good luck all of you